Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Carla. Good evening. Hello, Michelle. Okay, let's wait one second and we're going to get we're going to start. La bocina, no de la la mm. Okay, good evening. Okay, very good. Let me share my computer with you and then we'll get started. We'll do, uh, we're, gonna, we're going to play some games today about the topic that we saw. Uh, but first we can start by doing an activity. Do you remember the activity that we did yesterday? We, uh, we used if at the beginning of a sentence and then we use will to talk about possible situations. Okay. Uh, the topic that we saw for section five is will and, and be going to. Will uh, and be going to. So we, we have been seeing these two topics. And yesterday we did an activity where we put a condition and then a result. For example, if it rains today i i will uh, i will close my windows in my house okay and then you can continue you can say if i close my windows it will be hot and then you can continue. If it is hot, I will take a shower. And you can continue, right? So we were doing an activity yesterday like this. Uh, for example, if I study English, and then maybe someone can finish with will. I will. Okay, so let's do an activity. And uh, let's see how many people do we have today? We have four, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Carla, you're gonna go, you're gonna be the first one. And then Sara, and then Andrea, and then we continue. Uh, if I study English, I will. Um, I will more language, other language. I will learn. Learn. More, learn more. Language? Mm, no, you can't say. No. I will learn more language. You can say, I will learn more. Uh, if I study English, I will learn more. Okay, podemos dejarlo ahí. Okay. Okay. Okay, very good. Sara, if I learn more, what happens? I will. Uh, we can't hear you because you're you're on mute. Stay mute. Sara, stay mute. I will have other job. <laughs> I will have another job. 
Okay. Okay, very good. Andrea, if I have another job, I will. I will gain more money. I will gain more money. Okay. And uh, let's see, uh, Michelle, if I gain more money, I will. Michelle? Buy more things. I will buy more things. Very good. Valdemir, if I buy more things, what happens? I will need a big house. A big or bigger? Bigger, huh? Bigger house. Bigger house. Uh huh. Correct. Okay, do we you have any questions about this exercise? No. Okay, okay. this is uh remember I told you esto se conoce como conditional, right? But it's really the same. It's the same as using I will. Talk about possible situations. <clears throat> All right, very good. Let me take a picture uh of the people that are here right now, okay? Let me take a picture. Uh, and today we're going to go ahead and I want to do some uh, a project. We'll do a project and then we'll do uh, a game. Okay. We're going to go ahead and do a game after that. Let me just uh, put the attendance in WhatsApp. Okay, attendance. Uh, today is July twenty third, twenty twenty. And this is intermediate. Intermediate, module one, uh, 8 to 9 p.m. Okay, very good. All right, let me share my computer with you one more time. I want to show you um, the project that you're going to work on. Okay, so I have a, I have a project that we're going to do. Okay, let me share it with you. Um, ah, here it is. <clears throat> okay, can you see my screen? Yes? Yeah. Okay, we're going to do a, a simple class project. All right. And let me read the instructions. We're going to do a web project, group work, research, predictions about COVID-19 pandemic. Use will and be going to, to talk about predictions that experts are making about the pandemic. You can list predictions about health, <clears throat> economics, social, education, family, etc. You can also list things that countries are going to do or will do to deal with the situation. I have an example here, okay? For example, the company, Oxford, AstraZeneca, así se llama esta compañía de Inglaterra, ¿ya se dieron cuenta lo que están haciendo? No. No. No han visto las noticias. The company, no. the company Oxford, AstraZeneca, is going to start their phase three trial 
with more than 3,000 people to test their vaccine for COVID-19. Están en la etapa número 3. Es decir, la etapa 1 funcionó, etapa 2 funcionó, etapa 3 la están probando ahorita. For a vaccine, una vacuna. Ok, so, do you see? I use going to. Ok, this is a plan, this is something. And, and if you look, for example, no, no crean que es algo que me estoy inventando. Eh, let's say COVID-19 vaccine, Oxford. Oxford, okay. And if you look at that, you will find information about that, okay. So this is, uh, this is true, okay. So you're, what you're going to do, going back to the project, you're going to make 10 predictions about what countries or experts are saying about the pandemic, okay? You can research the internet, tienen que usar la internet, okay? To look for information. You can, you're going to use will and you're going to use going to, okay? Eh, preguntas, Sara, te voy a poner en mute, perdón, porque hay mucho, mucho ruido allí de tu lado. Bueno. Okay, do we have any questions? Questions? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and work in groups, two groups, and you're going to research. So, cada uno puede hacer por lo menos una búsqueda and, and have at least one sentence using we or going to. Okay, pueden ser noticias, o si ustedes quieren pues decir lo que los tal país va a ser, qué va a ser este país to deal with the situation, and you can use going to, will, okay? All right, questions about this sir, project? Hello, Rafael? How many sentences? 10, 10, one, two, okay, como esta? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, give me 10 sentences about that. Do as many as you can. We're going to work on this project for 20 minutes, okay? So uh, right now it's, uh, 8 15 we're going to stop uh i put 8 40 okay we'll we'll stop and then we're going we're going to play a game after that okay questions okay le voy a mandar ese cuadrito so that you guys can see the instructions uh, we have eight people let's we're going to make two groups of four okay De, de entrar aquí, no sé. Ok, vamos a trabajar con, como estábamos haciendo la, la última parte el día de ayer, de ayer, pero relacionado al tema del COVID-19. Ah, vaya. Hey, do you understand what we're doing? Es que dice que acaban de ingresar. Mm, no, ustedes estaban ahí. La cosa es que no preguntaron, tenían pena. Ok. No, no estaba. <laughs> Okay. All right, Michelle, this is what we're doing. Uh, we're going to look for information on the internet. You can look up for news or, or whatever. Look for information about what experts are predicting. Predictions. 
right? Ya vimos que predictions puede ser con will, puede ser going to. Si hay una evidencia científica, algo que lo respalda, entonces I can use going to, okay? Um, for example, there, in the, en el cuadrito, yo puse un ejemplo sobre una noticia que salió eh, hace, esta semana sobre una, una empresa en Oxford, una eh, pharmaceutical company. Ellos están en fase 3, desarrollo de la vacuna. Es decir, fase 1 funcionó, fase 2 funcionó, están en fase 3. So, my sentence, I put, the company Oxford, AstraZeneca, así se llama, is going to start their phase three trial with more than 3,000 people to test their vaccine for COVID-19. Teacher. Yes. It is correct that. What? In... In El Salvador, we we will enter fast three after uh, fixing more day, and there will be airport and factories. Yes, puede ser. Yeah, okay. that's good. It's a prediction, right? Something that will happen in the future. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, very good. Ahí, so that that's one. You have one there, and then you can you can research. So. I recommend maybe you want to look up some news or maybe you look, look, look up some information on Google. Maybe you find something, no importa de qué país, no importa de qué tema. Por ejemplo, yo puse health, economics, social, education, family, technology, lo que sea. It can be a sport. A what? A sport. A sport, yes, yes, no problem, a sport, okay. anything. Something about that's going to happen, right? It's going to happen in the future. Like in France, they, they are not going to permit people in the stadium. Okay. All right. There you go. So you can put ahí, si quieren referirse al país, así como dijo Eric, in France, there I, they are not going to allow people in the stadium. Okay? For example, in the United States, ahora empezó la... Eh, Baseball, La Liga Baseball. Mayor, right, today. And they are going to play and not allow people in the stadium. Okay, so you can go ahead and make some predictions. Research a little bit on the internet and try to have 10, okay? Cada uno puede hacer dos o tres y ahí, ahí pueden terminar. Okay, someone else? Okay, do you have any? Do you have one? I put two on the top, same. Mm -hmm. What do you have? What do you uh, have, Rafael? In the chat, I put it. Mm -hmm. Sí, pero no, no la puedo ver. De, me, me la uh, puedes repetir. La puedes repetir. Ahorita, ahorita. O la escribiste en el chat. Uh, the hospital is going to need more doctors. Uh, repeat, repeat, sorry. The hospital. Uh -huh. Is going to need more doctors. Yes, okay, that's good. Okay, in El Salvador, the hospitals are going to need more doctors. Yeah, Very and good. I put another one. Mm -hmm. uh, it will be another quarantine. Uh, will? Are you using will? Yes. Okay, there will be another quarantine. Okay. Uh, okay. I put it así, pero no sabía si estaba bien. Yeah, uh, if you have, for example, are you testing on a prediction, okay? If you have, like, evidence, uh -huh. right? Like, uh, the Asamblea de Legislativa is going to put a new quarantine for 15 days. Uh -huh. Si tuviera ya evidencia, ¿verdad? Como algo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Then you can use going to, right? 
Okay, good job, good job. Okay, el resto, Vladimir, Andrea, Carla, what do you have? No. I have one. Ah? I have one. Okay. Andrea puso, if pandemic continues, the hospital will need more doctors. Mm, no, ese era en el caso de que eh, tú solo habías puesto, uh, the hospital was going to need more doctors. Uh, so I thought that we had to use like the complete uh, sentence. So that's why I mm -hmm. added the if. Oh. Pero me doy cuenta de que tal parece no era tan, no era eh, sí o sí, ¿no? Entonces, esa no cuenta, sino que tengo otra. Uh -huh. um, if this pandemic continues, um, uh -huh. shamely, a lot of people will die. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can say shamely, you can also say uh, sadly, tristemente, sadly, many people will die. Or you can say also unfortunately, okay, very good. ¿Las están escribiendo en algún lugar? Chat. Chat, okay. Uh, hi, um, Australia says it is economy with four four percent. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. I'm about it. Uh, let me see here. I found one here. I found another one here that I can share with you. Solo estoy leyendo aquí el artículo. Dice, Korea will send humanitarian aid to Uzbekistan for COVID-19. Guys, we we got uh, four. Has to be ten. So, Vladimir, do you have any, Vladimir? Uh, I'm looking for information, sir. Eh, ¿Cómo están buscando? Wait, for example, if you look at Google. Coronavirus news. Okay, okay. Uh, what if, what if you put expert predictions Excuse me. about COVID nineteen? Okay, maybe. Ah, aquí tengo una vez. Entonces pueden buscar expert prediction or predictions predicciones predictions about COVID-19. It says, coronavirus will permanently change the way we do business. It's a prediction. It's a guess. Okay, very good. If the pandemic continues, sadly, a lot of people will die. Mm -hmm. Very good. I have mm -hmm. one. They mm -hmm. said, uh, when Dr. Anthony said in late May that there's a good chance a COVID-19 vaccine, vaccine vaccine will be ready by the end of this year. Okay, ahí está. So maybe you can ponerlas en tus propias palabras, make it short. Okay. Using uh, a will be or going to be. Mm -hmm. Ese es el, el, el experto de Estados Unidos, el que está encargado de, de, la, de la agencia de... Fauci. Uh -huh, Dr. Fauci, la agencia de, ¿cómo se llama? De Disease Control. In the United States, entonces él ha sido el más conservador de todos, pero a la misma vez él, él está diciendo que there will be a vaccine by early next year, 
2020, at Inicio de 2020, maybe January, February, March 2020, there will be a, a vaccine available. Okay, Andrea also put another one, she says, if we don't take care of ourselves, a second wave of COVID-19 will happen. Correct, correct. Si encuentran una, pueden simplemente copy and paste. And if you just, you want to change some, some words, you can change it. Aquí tengo otra de an expert says uh, he says the virus will be in our lives for years to come. Okay. Okay, Vladimir, did you put it? Give me one second. Uh, I use my on. cell phone. Uh, you had it, you had it. Que te acordas? Just write from what you remember. Okay. You don't have to copy it, but if you remember something, just write it. And uh, Carla says, Bill Gates predicts pandemic will be Bill Gates is doing the pandemic, my dear. Hmm? Yes. Bill Gates is behind all of this. <laughs> uh, that's your opinion. Bill Gates predicts pandemic will be bleaker than it seems. Okay. You get it bleaker. Did you research? Bleaker, get it said. Cold, miserable. What's in bleaker? Maha como dark, como oscuro. Bleaker. That's me, bleaker. Sombrío, nada bueno. Bill Gates. Predis. La pandemia. Será más allá. De lo que se ve, o de lo que se puede ver. Sí. All right, Dr. Fauci said in late May that there's a good chance a COVID vaccine will be ready by the end of this year. Okay, very good. First, first God. Primero Dios. Sorry, yeah. I less on air. Okay. Primero right. Dios. All right. In English, hay una frase que se dice, God willing. God willing. Y quiere decir como si Dios lo permite. Y nosotros lo decimos en español, primero Dios. En inglés. Es un verbo auxiliar y también significa voluntad. Will. Uh -huh. Will. Uh -huh. So, first God es como decir, mm, no, lo estás traduciendo literalmente, pero eh, no, no te van a entender si decís eso, si un, si un americano te escucha decir God eso. Will. No te, va a no, no te va a entender, te va a decir como, ah, están nombrando a Dios como en una orden de primero, algo así. Eh, 
Sí, eso es lo que van a pensar ellos. Um, pero puede decir God willing. God willing. Uh -huh. Si Dios lo permite. Oh. Si, Dios lo, si es la voluntad de Dios. Es casi como okay. decir eso, si es la voluntad de Dios. Um, ajá, porque si tú le dices first, first God o God first, va a pensar que estás hablando de orden, de números. Mm. Ok. Es cierto, ya me pasó una vez. Ok, what else? What else, what else? Okay, we have eight minutes, eight minutes. Okay, let me read some of the ones you got in French. They are not going to let people, uh -huh. in El Salvador we will enter phase two after 15 more days and they would be Open public transportation. Okay. In Metapan, we are going to have a lot of cases if the people don't take care. Yes. If the curb gets down, El Salvador will open everything. Okay. The hospitals will almost collapse in El Salvador. And maybe we'll almost, uh, will collapse in El Salvador. Because, no about, but because. Okay. okay, when the pandemic passes, the first thing I would do is to go to the cemetery to visit my mom and to bring a few more flowers. Okay. Okay, very good. Maybe I yes, I'm going to bring her. I'm going to bring yes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Her. Mm -hmm. En el chat puse otra. No sé si está correcto. Ok, ya lo veo. Se lo termina eso. Okay, Michelle, maybe you can say phase two is not going to start because many, many what? Many people. Many people are. Yes. Many people are infected. Puedo poner otra en el chat? Sí. Sí, sí, claro. Dale. We have uh, five minutes, five minutes. Stephanie Eliminale came out. Mm -hmm. Al final. Así? Yo lo dejar hasta donde dice infected. También hasta infected. Okay. Okay, very good. Uh, we're going to finish in five minutes. What you can do is hacer un recorte de el, do el documento ahí que tienen en Word o simplemente copy paste and put it in the in the chat, okay? In WhatsApp, put it in WhatsApp and then we're going to okay. share. Okay. Uh, all se van con la que está. Bueno, no sé si también. Maname, we leave much employment. Ay, sí, es cierto. La tasa de Estados Unidos ya creció como un 20%. Ok, we are ready. 
Okay, if you, what you can do, um, el otro grupo la escribió en un solo documento y me la va a pasar por chat, por WhatsApp, okay? Um, what you can do is, uh, when we go back, lo que podemos hacer es que cada uno escriba por lo menos una en el chat de Zoom. Porque quería enseñarles al otro grupo lo que ustedes hicieron y viceversa. Oh, my gosh. No, no me da tiempo. Me voy. Okay, very good. Did uh, did you send in me the the answers that you have? Did you send me to the, the group? Did you send me the answers? Please send me the answers. Oh, so lo envío por el chat. Lo poner, lo tenga. Si lo ten, si hiciste una captura de pantalla, lo puedes poner ahí la foto en el chat de WhatsApp. Eh, sí, si solo le di copiar. Entonces, entonces mejor copiarlo aquí en Zoom. Perdón, pegarlo aquí en Zoom. Ok. En el chat de Zoom. Eh, pero se me sale privado. Mm. Everyone, ya. Listo. Ok. So, uh, the other group. Eh, el otro grupo era Rafael, Carla, eh, Andrea y Vladimir. Ok. So, les voy a leer algunas de los que ellas, ellos hicieron. Andrea said, um, no, Carla said, Australia says its economy will fall 4%. Prediction, right? If the pandemic continues, Andrea says, Sadly, a lot of people will die, correct? If we don't take care of ourselves, a second wave of COVID-19 will happen. Carla says, Bill Gates predicts pandemic will be bleaker than it seems. Vladimir says, Dr. Fauci said in late May that there's a good chance a COVID-19 vaccine will be ready. Okay, very good. And then phase two, Michelle says, phase two is not going to start because many people infected. All right, very good. Y después está el grupo de Sara, eh, Stephanie, Eric, and no me acuerdo qué más. Okay. They say in French, they are not going to let people in PSG games. Okay. In El Salvador, we will enter phase two after 15 more days, and there would be open public transportation. Number three, in Metapan, we are going to have a lot of cases if people don't take care. Very good. Four, if the curve gets down, El Salvador will open everything. Five, the hospitals will almost collapse in El Salvador. All right because of COVID-19. Number six, when the pandemic passes, the first thing I will do is go to the cemetery and visit my mom and I'm going to bring her flower, many roses. Okay. Number seven, in Mexico, they cancel the soccer games because the players are positive. And so look at you know, I will or going to. 
Number eight, phase two is not going to start because many people are infected. Yes, very good. Number nine, in the US, in USA are going to close the beaches because they don't want infected. Eh, aquí tenemos que cambiar las palabras. They don't want more <laughs> infected, more infected people. Okay, very good. Salvadorians should take better care of themselves, of uh, ourselves. Uh, we will all want to be healthy because of the virus. We must take care of ourselves while the vaccine comes. Okay, very good, very good. So these are all predictions that you can make using will and going to. Okay, so I be more body of huso, the will and going to, right? You can use will for a promise. You can use will when you want to guess. You can use will when you make a decision immediately. Si tomaste la decisión allí inmediatamente, will. Going to for decisions, something that you decided on already. Okay, very good. Let me share my computer screen. Let me tell you what we're going to do. We're going to play a game. The game is going to be let me see. Will versus going to. So let me tell you how this works. You have to go to this page. Okay, le voy a poner este link in WhatsApp. When you get there, you have to put this code. Van a ingresar y todos vamos a poder competir. Y vamos a hacer un, una, un quiz using will and going to. Okay, so let's go to WhatsApp. Le voy a poner eh, join my quiz. Join my quiz. And then the password. The password. Se lo voy a poner también ahí en WhatsApp. Okay. Si no, aquí lo pueden ver también. 781315. Okay. So, cuando, cuando todos ingresen, entonces yo le voy a dar start. We're going to do a competition, okay? Ustedes van a poder ver ahí, van a competir con uno al otro, a ver quién termina primero. Okay? Tell me. I'm all right. Eric, ya ingresó. Very good, Eric. I am there too. Okay, Melvin, ¿quién entró como ve? Melvin Maldonado? Me, <laughs> my <laughs> first name. Ah, okay. All right, no problem, no problem, you can go. Okay, ingresen su nombre ahí, first name, <clears throat> if you want. Andrea, Vladimir. let's see, we have four people. Y tenemos one, two, three, four, five. Okay, very good. I have six people. And we have nine participants. Tres son ocho. I think we're ready, almost. Dos, cuatro, seis, ocho. One, two, three. Oh, ocho. Listos. Okay. All right, very good. So I'm going to start and when I when when you hear go you can go go Oh my god Hey, look at those. Uh, I put it down. Okay, very good. Ahorita va ganando Stephanie, Valdemir, Michelle.
Ah, yung bagay ng... <laughs> Got it. Cool. How would this? Okay, very good. Michelle finished. Uh, continue, continue. I'll give you one more minute. I finished too. No. I I finished too, right or no? Okay, very good. Some people finished already. Good, good. Okay, give me thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Uh -uh.
Okay, very good. Number one, who was first? Number one was Michelle, okay? And also Andrea, you got 93%, Michelle got 100%, you didn't miss any, good job. Andrea, you got 93%, good job. Stephanie, 86%, Ademir, okay? Very good, very good, not, not bad, not bad. Okay, very good. Okay, ahí están los resultados. Do you want to play another one? Yes. Uno más? All right, we got time for another one. Okay, let's go to another one. Let me see. Okay, very good. So, eh, the code, voy a poner el código del otro. The next one. Se lo voy a poner ahí en WhatsApp. So, what you have to do is go back to the beginning. Donde, donde iniciaron, o si no, pues regresen a WhatsApp y le pueden dar click otra vez a, a quiz. Eh, it says enter a game code. The game code is 907298. Okay, hold on. We have Stephanie, Michelle, Rafael. Wait a second. Seven people. One more. Ahí estamos. Okay, we have eight people. Are you guys ready? Okay.
Okay. Okay, very good, Michelle. Very good, excellent job. Then Andrea, 100, Michelle, 100, Vladimir, Rafael, good job, good job, everybody. Okay, very good. So we have one more minute. Um, today is our last class. Les agradezco por brindarme su tiempo, su atención, su esfuerzo. Gracias por, por buen trabajo que hicieron, por completar la plataforma, por estar atento a las clases. Y, y espero que, que están aprendiendo, ¿verdad? Eso se trata de poder usar su inglés en la vida real. So, espero que, que ustedes continúen, eh, sigan aquí con este programa, sigan trabajando, trabajando por esas metas que ustedes tienen. Ok. Eh, entonces, cualquier pregunta, pues ahí estoy. Terminen la plataforma. Este, y, y, y ya, y, y estén atentos al correo que le van a mandar con el proceso de inscripción, ¿verdad? Eso se lo va a mandar la academia. Ok, sí, sí, sí. So, ha sido un gusto estar aquí con ustedes, ok. Un gusto, Thank muchas you. gracias. Thank you. Ok, all right, everybody, have a good night, ok. Cuídense. Gracias por todo, profe. Buenas gracias. A, cuídense mucho por la situación que estamos pasando, ¿verdad? Ok. Gusto. Ya no le voy a mandar trabajo a su WhatsApp. Ah, ok, ok. <risa> <risa> ya no. <risa> Okay, bueno, continúen, okay? Sigan, sigan adelante. All right, good